Hi, my name is Michael Emmanuel from the French Horn at Sonning, and um, I've been asked by Rouge Blanc Wines.com to just pick out my six favourite wines from their list, and it's been hard, but I think I've done it because they've got some fantastic wines. But equally, I've made it very easy for myself because I think I picked the best. This is your special occasion box of wines. I've started with probably the best champagne there is, and in my opinion, probably the best champagne in the world. The Cru Grand Cuvée. It's rich, it's subtle, it's got finesse written all over it. This is the biggest special occasion wine there is. It doesn't get an awful lot better than this. And if you're going to start a special evening, this is the wine you're going to have. And to be fair, Krug, it's got big enough legs, you could drink it all the way through dinner. This can stand up even to the light meats as well. But this is a wonderful wine. If you're going to be special, this is a special occasion, this is the wine for you. An aperitif wine, a wine that you could almost just continue with or start with. It's your summer holiday wine. The wines which I love, an expression of green flintiness, those lovely gooseberry flavours. It's a Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire, a Puy Fumé. This particular wine, it's finesse, it's light, it's fresh. This is your first course wine. You could have it as the aperitif if you didn't want champagne. This is a lovely wine as well. I'm going on to one of my favourites. This particular wine is made by Lou Latour. He is the BMW of wine making, in my opinion. He doesn't make rubbish, but this wine he generally makes in, Bur in Burgundy. That's where he's from. He has grown Chardonnay in the south of France, in the Ardèche. This is a Chardonnay by Louis Latour from the Ardèche. It's extremely good value, but it's what you would expect from a Chardonnay. Those lovely buttery vanilla aromas, a really big rich mouthful of fruit. It's delicious. This is the wine that you have with your first course with those very delicious fish dishes with your white meats, your chickens. This is a lovely wine. You start with this. It's wonderful. After that, your main course is a Pinot Noir from Burgundy. Burgundy is where my heart lies. This particular wine from Gevry Chambertin, the year 2000, this wine is ready to drink now. It's, it's soft, it's gamey, those lovely soft red fruits, the strawberries, the raspberries. It is absolutely wonderful. I can recommend this wine with all meat dishes. It's even got the subtlety to go with dishes like partridge as well. It's superb. Now the wine, the red wine, that probably all of us know, Chateauneuf de Pape, Grenache. It's soft again, the same soft red fruit flavours that you're going to get from Burgundy, but it's spicier. It comes from the south of France, and again this particular one is excellent, and I can recommend it with all red meat, and particularly stews and casseroles. Then one of my favourites again over here, it doesn't get an awful lot better than this, Chateau d'Armagnac. Originally Chateau Baron Philippe from the Mouton Rothschild estate. It's a fifth growth classified in 1855, but I tell you now if they reclassified this, this is one of the best and as a wine you could start the evening with this, finish the evening with this. If I was given this at a friend's dinner party, I tell you something, he'd be my best mate when I left.